hello youtube viewers thank you for tuning in to my channel today and today we are going to build a bathroom on this granite counter that you see here this is where my kitchen is we are going to build a bathroom here and this bathroom is a continuation of the project that i'm making for my aunt so i started out with just a piece of cardboard and i took some decorative paper and I stuck it there with tape and some glue just to reinforce it. So we are going to make this a bathroom. Now what I did was I made myself a wall. And I've already decorated it too. So what I did was, okay, this three part wall was inside a can of different popcorn that I got for Christmas. Somebody gave me a can with popcorn in there and one compartment was for the caramel popcorn the other one was for the butter popcorn and the other one was for the other type of popcorn anyway this divided the popcorns inside the can so once we were done with the can i said to myself wow this is a cute little trifold you can say so i saved it so now that i'm making this bathroom for my aunt i said to myself wow you know what i can use this and maybe make the shower there and make the toilet and the sinks right here so you watch how this will come out okay so what i did was over here i got a little hook those are hooks from the dollar tree they're adhesive and you can get a few of them in a pack it's upside down purposely so that it can hold the ring of the towel the towel is just a piece of cloth that i cut out Okay, so then, see this little thing there? That's from an earring on the other side. So that is an earring holding that piece of cloth, which is a towel. Above is a nice frame. It's an eau de Cologne from the Dollar Tree. And over here, this is just a, a mirror that I had, and it was plain. So I just made a few borders there with uh, decorative paper and order collants from the Dollar Tree. So I placed one on each side. And this is where the sink is going to go. The toilet is going to go on this side. So we are ready to start this, okay? So we are going to start with the floor that I showed you, okay? On that floor, I am going to place this trifold, which becomes my walls, okay? Then I made a shower. Now this is this shower. To tell you the truth, the container, the plastic container, I don't know what it was from. It might have been like packaging, maybe from a camera or a cell phone or something like that. I'm not sure. And what I did was, oops, the soap is on the floor. But that soap belongs right there in the middle. See that little metal thing that's to hold the soap and then I placed a little binder clip tiny binder clip the yellow one just to hold anything else maybe put another soap there or a bottle of shampoo whatever and then oh my god this is my favorite part of the shower not only the curtains the curtains are from a vinyl, it's not vinyl, it's like a kind of cloth, plastic cloth, um, tablecloth that I've used, you know, in one of my dollhouses. And then this is a piece of autocollant that sticks. So that becomes the rod. But inside, you can see a shower head. That shower head, let's see if I can point to it with something. I didn't bring anything to point at it. But anyway, you see the white? The white part with the metal that is a hook that moves up and down it's pretty flexible so that's a hook so i placed it on there with some double-sided uh, adhesive little pads that i get at the dollar tree and then i had a piece here this metal black and silver piece that was like from some type of pen or something like that and it fit perfect into the hook then I had to make a shower head. 
So what I did was I took pieces of an earring. The round thing here is from an earring. And then there's a piece of like a little, I'm not sure, one of those dots that you use to put under um, tables and stuff like that so that it won't get damaged. I'm not sure what the name of that is, but... Oh, it has a little bit of felt, so it's like a little felt circle. Anyway, so then I placed another button underneath, and that made the shower head. But the neat thing about this is that it's flexible. Let me see if I can show you from here. So you see this part? You see how it moves? Isn't that cool? It's like a real shower head that you can adjust. So that is my little shower. And it goes right here in this corner. So on this side of the trifold. So there is the shower. And then I had a little cap of uh, lotion. I think it was clear cap. And I just rolled up some more of the little cloths. To make it look like towels for this bathroom. So this is going right here. So we have our shower. So let's go over to the other side. Look at how pretty that looks. So what I did here was I made a double sink. I made a double sink. This is supposed you know what this is, right? You plug it in the wall. I forgot what it's called. But that's what it is. And then there's a piece of, let me see this, like a little Lego piece there. Let's see. It could be for a little toothbrush or something like that. Anyway, I used water bottle caps as the two sinks. And then I have those little buttons all over the place. So I placed two of them there like they are. Uh, they're the drain. Then this is from the top. I think this was from some soap bottle. I forgot what it was. So I just connected everything and everything just fit into place. Little pieces that you connect. And if they fit, you can make something out of it. Now the hooks, you can see that they're not in place. I left them like that on purpose because I'm going to be mailing the entire project to my aunt. And I want her to stick it to the wall once she gets it. So this, this hook is going to be up here somewhere. Okay, so this hook is going to be more or less like about here. So it'll look good once it's on the wall. But I don't want to stick it yet because I have to fold the trifold to pack it up for her. And then underneath, the base of the sink is um, from a deodorant. It's a deodorant cap, men's deodorant. This is an autocolant, the mirror I told you about. And this is another autocolant. So we have our sink and the shower. And then I made myself a little toilet here. Again, this is another cap of soap, of the soap dispenser that I told you about. Then this one, the tank, is from, I think there were some pills in there. Not sure what kind of pills there were, but it's uh, something you buy over the counter. I forgot what it was. Then the little hook is a piece of autocollant that sticks. Then what else? I took another... Another cap, I took some modeling clay and another piece. This is like one of those covers for the for the outlets so that the kids won't stick their fingers in the outlets. So the other part is inside of there. So anyway, everything is just stuck together with that modeling clay. And then there's another cap underneath here with modeling clay and a little autocollant that I used as a little rug and that's the toilet now I didn't have being that this toilet is round it's not oval like the ones we have right what I did was 
I found this little bowl here and I figured, you know what? It doesn't look like the lid of a toilet, but it can be a future toilet. Maybe our future toilets will look like that. I don't know. But anyway, let's place this where it's supposed to go. Right here. Right there. I'm not finished yet. Over the sink. We might want to place a little... A little something there just so it could look nice. So I made another piece here. Just for decoration. Then on the other side here, I think we want to have a little rug there. So when you come out of the shower, you step onto, onto a rug or onto a step here. So I have this little piece there, right there. What else? On the other side here, we want a little rug to step on, right? Right there. And we have a little garbage can that I made, and it's a toothpaste um, lid cap with some other caps. I just collect little caps, and then I make stuff out of it. So that's what I made. I made a little garbage can. It might be a little bit too small for this area, but it's okay. So those little hooks that you see there, they're going to be the faucets. So those are pegboard hooks that I bought at the Dollar Tree. I saw them at the Dollar Tree a while back and I bought them for no reason. I just felt like at some point, you know, I might be able to use them for something and they came in so handy. So those are going to be more, they're going to be lifted. They're going to be up to here when she, when she receives this, she'll know what to do. So that's the bathroom. That is the bathroom for my aunt that I'm going to ship to her with, along with a bedroom, a kitchen, and a living room. And you'll see that in another video. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this beautiful little bathroom that you can do yourself. Remember, you get a can for Christmas, somebody gives you a can of candy or whatever. Sometimes it has these compartments, these trifolds. And you can make yourself a wall. Alrighty, well, I think this is it. Thank you for watching.